Thanks for watching. I'm Ruben, and in this demo, you will learn and see how Frame is easy to use and designed from the ground up as a modern desktop as a service solution. I will demo how to configure and deploy five different Frame accounts, able to support thousands of users in each Frame account in four different regions across the globe. These Frame accounts will use four different infrastructure solutions to run virtual apps and desktops. In my demo, I will use on-premises powered by Nutanix AHV and also public cloud resources using Azure, AWS, and GCP. The public cloud infrastructure as a service subscriptions and the connection to my Nutanix cluster running AHV is already configured and connected with my frame subscription. So we are ready to go. Let's start a clock and click roll. Here we go. This interface is the super admin interface. And this is where I start adding a frame account. I select the right organization. I give it a friendly name. I'll want to use AHV as the first platform. I select the cloud provider, in this case AHV, and I select the region. In this case, it's called SproutX, which is based in Europe. I want to use Windows 10 as the base image family. And I want to use my master machine. I want to configure my master machine to use, uh, in this case, uh, NVIDIA vGPU uh, powered machine. In this case, a 2Q profile. I want to add an ex extra storage capacity to that base image. And I hit Next. And I hit Create. That's the first frame account. Let's add a second frame account. Same organization. Frame is multi-tenancy by design. That's why you can select multiple organizations uh, as, an, as an example. I want to use uh, HV as well. In this case, I want to use persistent desktops. Same configuration here. Um, different instance type. This machine only has CPUs, multiple CPUs, no GPU. Um, I want to use a little bit extra storage here for this developer type use case and hit next and hit create. So second frame account uh, created. Let's create a third frame account. Let's use, let's see, use AWS. In this case, I want to use the uh, Australia, uh, Sydney uh, region. I switch my cloud provider to AWS. In my setup, I have multiple AWS subscriptions connected. Uh, that's why you see three. I want to use this one for now and go to the Sydney one and hit next. I want to use this image family. I want to use a um, GPU powered machine. Add a little bit more storage here. And hit next. Hit create. So third frame account created. Do that again. Give it a friendly name. I want to use uh, GCP. In this case in uh, APJ. Google. Let's see, let's use uh, Hong Kong. Give it an Air 16, a little bit extra storage. Hit create. And finally, the fifth, uh, fifth frame account will be in, uh, oops, friendly name, uh, Azure in the uh, US. I'm gonna use the Azure subscription I already configured. I want to use uh, South Central US as the cloud region and hit next. I want to use Windows 10 as the base image for that account. And I want to use a Pro 65 as the base uh, image type. Of course, you can change that afterwards as well. And this machine has an NVIDIA GPU as well. I have the right licenses and hit next and hit create. So in roughly three minutes, 3.20 to be, uh, be precise, we have deployed and are deploying, these two are still deploying, five frame accounts in four different regions using four different infrastructure providers. Awesome, great.